Here is the worksheet walkthrough for telling the time to five minutes. Question one says, label the clock to show the number of minutes past the hour. Pause the video now and see how many you can fill in. Okay, so we've got five minutes here. So at the two, we've got 10 minutes past the hour. At three, we're 15 minutes past the hour. We say that's quarter past. At the four, we're now 20 minutes past the hour. At the five, we're 25 minutes. When we get down to the six, when our minute hand is pointing at the six, we're half past, but we are 30 minutes past the hour. They've done seven for you. That's 35 minutes. And here, now we've got 40 minutes past the hour. Nine is three quarters of the way around. That's 45 minutes. 10 is 50 minutes. The 11 is 55 minutes. Now I wonder how many of you wrote 60 here for the 12. It's actually zero minutes. When our minute hand is pointing at the 12, we haven't done any minutes in the hour yet. Question two says, label the clock to show what time would be shown if the minute hand was pointing at each interval. So if the minute hand was pointing at all of the numbers, what minute time might it show? They've done two for you. When it's pointing at one, it's five minutes past. When it's pointing at eight, it's 20 minutes two. Pause the video now and give this one a go. How many can you fill in? Okay, so if the minute hand was pointing at the two, it would be 10 minutes past. If the minute hand was pointing at the three, it would be 15 minutes past. If it was pointing at the four, it would be 20 minutes past. And if it was pointing at the five, it would be 25 minutes past. If it's pointing down at the six, it's half past, it's 30 minutes past. And if it was pointing at the seven, oh, well now we're going to the next hour. So we're gonna go for 25 minutes, two. If we're at nine, because they've done eight for us, they've told us it's 20 minutes, two. If we're at nine, it's 15 minutes, two. If we're at 10, it's 10 minutes, two, it's 10, two. And if we're at far, uh, 11, sorry, we're five minutes two. And if we're at the 12, we're o'clock. So when our minute hand is pointing at the 12, whatever hour we are in, it's the o'clock of that hour. Now the second part is, is there more than one possible answer for each label? I think for some there are. I know at 15 minutes past, it could be quarter past, at 30 minutes past, we can say half past. At 15 minutes two, we can say quarter two. Ooh, 10 minutes two, I missed that one. Are there any others that you can think of? Question three says, the hour hand is pointing just after five and the minute hand is pointing to two. So the time is two minutes past five. What mistake has Ron made? Pause the video now. And can you also answer what the actual time is? And give this a go. Okay, so the minute hand is pointing to the two, yes. But that means it's 10 minutes, not two minutes. Two minutes is about there. So it, the time is actually 10 minutes past five not two minutes past five. Did you get that right? Question four says, what time is shown on each clock? Pause the video now and give it a go, but don't forget, you can look back at question one and two and see if they can help. Okay, so question one, it is, if I look at my minute hand, it's at the four, so I know that's five, 10, 15, 20. 20 minutes past 
and my hour hand is here, so it's gone past four, but it hasn't gone past five. So 20 minutes past four. If I look at B, we're looking at a minutes two here, so we're here at the eight. So if I start at eight, I've got five, 10, 15, 20. So I'm 20 minutes two. And looking at my hour hand now, well, it's gone past four, but it hasn't gone past five. So that means I'm moving towards five. So it's 20 minutes to five. If I look at C here, I've got a past again. So my minute hand is pointing at four, five, 10, 15, 20. 20 minutes past, and I look for my hour hand, it's gone past the five, hasn't gone past the six, so it's 20 minutes past. Five, now D, D's a tricky one, let's have a look. So, if I find my long hand is pointing at the 10, so because I'm at the 10, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna have minutes two, so let's write that in first, minutes two. So it's pointing at the 10, so let's work out how many minutes to. It's five, it's 10 minutes, and I know it's gone past the nine, and because it's still two, it hasn't gone to 10, but that means it must be 10 minutes to 10. That's a tricky one, because both of our hands are lying on top of each other. Question five says, draw the hands on the clock to show the correct times. If you've got different colors, Try and use different colors as well, because it might help you see. Pause the video now and give it a go. Okay, so A says 15 minutes past six. So if it's 15 minutes, I know that my minute hand will be pointing towards the three. And if it's past six, I know my hour hand has to be past the six, but not to the seven, so I'm gonna point it just past the six, about there. And just remember that our hour hand is always shorter than our minute hand. Here's B, we've got 15 minutes to nine. So 15 minutes to nine, that's the same as quarter to nine. So my minute hand has to be pointing at my nine, because I know that's 45 minutes round. I know that's five, 10, 15 minutes to the next hour, and it's 15 minutes to nine, which means I know it's gone past eight, but it hasn't got to nine. 15 minutes to nine is actually the same as eight, 45. So my hour hand has to point past the eight, but it hasn't quite got to the nine yet, because I've still got 15 minutes to go. So I'm looking for something similar to that. In C, I've got 25 minutes to nine. 25 minutes to nine. So I'm gonna try and work out the other way of saying the time. So it's 25 minutes to nine. I know that it's eight, and 25 minutes is there, so it's eight, 35. That might help me out. So if I know it's 8.35, I know my minute hand has to point at where my 35 time would be, so, Six is 30, seven is 35. So my minute hand's going to point at my seven. And I know it's 8.35, 25 minutes to nine, 8.35. So I know that it's gone past eight, but it hasn't quite got to nine. So, and half part, 8.35 is about over half. So around about there. D says five minutes to 12, five minutes to 12. So if it's five minutes to 12, I know my minute hand's going to be here. Five minutes to 12. Five minutes to 12. And my hour hand is just gonna be before the 12. Because it's five minutes to 12. So hopefully the four clocks that you did look similar to mine. Question six says, Jack wants to tell the time but the hour hand has fallen off the clock. He says, there are 12 dis different possible times it could be during a full day. That's an important part of our question, a full day. 
Do you agree with Jack? Pause the video now and have a think. Well, did you agree with Jack? I don't agree with Jack. No, and I don't agree with Jack because remember, there are 24 hours in a full day. So actually, there are 24 possible times it could be. Okay, question seven is a real brain teaser. The minute hand and the hour hand of a clock are both pointing at an even number. It is before midday. What time could it be? Give three possible answers. Pause the video now and give it a go. If both the hands on my clock are pointing at even numbers, then my minute hand could be pointing at the 12 and my hour hand could be pointing at the six. So I'd have six o'clock, or it could be pointing at the eight and the 12. So I'd have eight o'clock, or it could be pointing at the 10. I could have 10 o'clock. What different ones did you find? Did you find any that weren't just o'clocks? Question eight says, the numbers on a clock face were written in Roman numerals, but they've been rubbed off. The current time has a V in the hour and a V in the minutes. What time could it be? Draw your answer on the clock. And can you find more than one answer? Pause the video now and give this a go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw on the Roman numerals to help me. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So if my current time has a V in the hour and in the minutes, it could be any of these where I'm using the V. So I'm going to say it is this many minutes. And this is my hour. So my time is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 past 6, 7. 25 past 7. How many did you find?